Can aim way signposts at Burness. Now on the walk, the Pennine Way, this is the first field it crosses at Burnet. The Pennine Way ascends steeply through this forest to the top of Burnet Hill. At the top of Burnet Hill, great views of the Cheviots open out. That can't close reservoir. There's a view of Raven's No. You may have noticed that the weather is much more cloudy than some of the earlier shots. Those earlier shots were taken yesterday, before setting out on the walk. There's the cairn on top of Raven's No. And here are some of the views from Raven's No. The way ahead is by those trees. Looking back the way I've come from Raven's No. Just look at these views. As you can see, the sun is starting to break through. Very soon we'll meet, we'll meet the border fence between England and Scotland. That fence you can see on the left is not the border fence. Here's where the Pennine Way bears off right to descend to the valley of the River Coquette. It follows that river to the Chew Green Roman Fort and then ascends again, as we'll see. The Pennine Way turns left here, away from the river, to climb back onto the ridge. I'm climbing beside Chew Green Roman Fort. There are some of the ramparts. As I climb back onto the ridge, the views really start to open up. There is the border fence. I'm standing in England. Across that fence is Scotland. So all those views there are in Scotland. And if I swing round, you can see the views in England. The Pennine Way diverges from the border fence at this point for a while. It goes along that path you can see going up that hill to the right. I think that they are the Aldon Hills in Scotland. They're certainly in Scotland. You can see the border fence in the foreground. There they are again. Um, Incidentally, I haven't mentioned that the Roman Road Deer Street follows that for defence. The Pennine Way followed it until it diverged in the, where I showed you a couple of frames ago. There's a paved section of the way. The wind's picking up a little bit. And there's the continuation of the Pennine Way. Now at Yearning Saddle, where the way turns sharp left down to the first of the two mountain refuge huts. The border fence is again right beside us on the left. And there's the mountain refuge hut. From the mountain refuge hut, there's a view of the Pennine Way as it climbs Lamb Hill, following the border fence. There's also a view of the hill known as the Kip. Looking back down towards the mountain refuge hut from Lamb Hill. Trig point on the top of Lamb Hill, although they've put the trig point in Scotland as it's over the fence. And here's another paved section of the way. There's a view of the way ascending the next From the top of Beefstand Hill, there's a view of the whale back of the Cheviot ahead there. And over there to the Shill, which is the last big mountain on the Pennine Way. And as you can see, this is another paved section of the way. 
another sharp left turn and there's a view of the Pennine Way climbing Mozzie Law, the next peak on the ridge. Wonderful view from Mozzie Law. Looking over towards Windy Gar, which I'll be climbing shortly. There's the well back of the Cheviot again. The Shill. And the Cheviot Foothill. The fence in front is still the border fence, so that brown vegetation is in Scotland, although I'm standing in England. This is the junction of the Pennine Way with an ancient drove road called the Street. There's Windy Gile. A view of the start of the climb towards Windy Gile. Great view now over to Windy Gile. Which I'll be climbing very soon. Looking over to the Cheviot, the colours are just staggering. There's the border fence. There's Windy Gale. So here we are, Windy Gale Summit, Brussels Cairn and the Trig Point, 2,030 feet above sea level and the high point of today's walk between Burness and Aziz. Needless to say, from the summit of Windy Gale, there are fantastic views. At the junction of the Pennine Way with Clennell Street, which is another ancient drove road, I turn right for Uzzyford Farm and the overnight stop. There are fantastic views from this junction. That's the view into Scotland. There's the path leading down to Uzzyford. Still descending to Uzziford. And, and there's the Ford at Uzziford.